what's up guys it is time there we go friday night i see mia's on time it's about time mia grandpa's in here he set his alarm as well what's up dj on the naughty list as usual robert worley fellow colorado and how you doing rick morris and twm let's throw up some sevens and get this thing going what's up naggy What's up, guys? You guys ready for the weekend? I, I know, know I am. am as well. I hope you guys are too. Silver Keeper in here as well. Let's go, TWM. All right, so everybody rocking and rolling. Come on in here. It's time to have some fun. We got two boxes if need be. Hopefully, we can find some silver. Yesterday, we found a key date, 1974. Yeah, a half dollar. In an, uh, Ender, nonetheless. Ender. He came to play. We got two more of those boxes. We These got, are the same boxes, same boxes, the same bank, the same pickup and everything. You never know. I know it doesn't mean anything, but you never know. You never know. Um, so we'll get this going and have some fun. So um, we do have a short naughty list. We got DJ, of course, holding down the naughty list. We got a vendor road kicking down with the 25 as well. So right there, we already got them on the card. Paul, where's yeah, the card? Already, they're already on the card. I got the How card. How many do we got on there? We got one, two, three, four people on the card as of right now. We All right, let me see that. So on the card right now, we have Chad Silver, the random DJ, and a Fender Road right there. Once we get that filled out, we'll do a 90%. If we get another card filled out, we'll do a half ounce. And if we get another card, we'll do a 250th George Washington commemorative half dollar. That's how we're going to roll. Uh, we'll get it going and have some fun. DJ, uh, I got you with this 25. Like I said, a Fender Road with the 25, five wheels. You'll get your wheel spin. You got your name on here. When it's full, we'll scratch it. So let's get going and have some fun. I got an itch. Let's scratch it. All right. The jerky king, right, right, right. Um, and yeah, we'll have some fun. Um, let's get it going. So pull us that. Let's get Friday. What is the heck? Why is it so? What is that? It's a heater. I'm cold. He's got the sun over there blaring at me. If you're gonna, Paul's shirt's gonna catch on fire, dude. That thing is blue. Oh, you can actually see the the orange color. Golly. Hey. But, but I, you know, well, I get cold now. Today was a um, eventful day. Um, uh, I woke up bright and early, and we had a bunch of stuff to do, and had to check out the stock market. And mm -hmm. um, and yeah, so it is what it is. What's up, Perry? No, I didn't go to UCLA, but uh, we were right near UCLA, uh, and I, li I like the, the little mascot, so I bought the shirt. What do you do? What happens when you stand on the Hollywood sign and look east? When you're on the Hollywood sign and you look east. UCLA. All right, guys. Well, thanks for stopping by. Is that even the right direction? I just made that up in my head. If you're standing on the Hollywood sign and I you look east, would that be UCLA? Be, wouldn't it be What's up, Matthew? Look south. I don't know. I just, I, I just made up. I, all right. That joke was not very uh, uh, accurate, but hey, it is what it is. Um, yeah. So we'll get it going and uh, have some fun. Uh, Mod Squad, there will be a, just a few changes here and there. Uh, I got a couple emails from people. We got to mix it up and make sure everybody gets a chance to do it. Uh, but nothing major. Um, just, uh, you know, got to give other crew members a chance. You don't have to give everybody. And I'm not cutting anybody off gotta, or anything. It's just we're going to mix stuff up a little bit. Gotta and, make sure uh, that we got to make sure that our mods are, you know, good people and they're doing the right thing. Oh, our mod squad's awesome. I, yeah. I don't have one bad thing to say about it. But a lot of people want to be mods. And I can't have 77 mods in the chat. Mm -hmm. Why? No, but, now, but I don't know. Maybe I could. Everybody else does. I guess I could. Mod everybody. We'll have a, oh, we can have a Mod Royale. Uh, Matthew P., what's up, man? It was a beautiful day over here. <laughs> Matt says, I'll do it. I'll do it. Uh, hello. Uh, he, it was Ozzy in the chat. What's up, Ozzy? I'll check PayPal real quick, but I think we're going to crack. We can crack this open because we right. got DJ and Offender Road getting in there we already. Need, we need a Mod Royale where everybody's just trying to time out everybody. No, we don't. That would be obnoxious. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. That'd be awesome. All, All right, right, so we're going to crack this open for Enders. It was hot. To, yeah, it was, it was kind of warm today. Oh, my gosh. This one doesn't not want to open. Hey, Jackalope. Look right here, Jackalope. Ooh. You can't say anything anymore, Jackalope. I did it just for you. <laughs> when do you guys go back to Texas? Uh, probably, probably, I'm hoping this next week. week. Or next week, technically, but hopefully this week. I'm hoping that I have to come back for a wedding at the end of this month, so I'm like, do I even go back or do I just stay through it? All right, let's see what we got going. What's up, Shady? I didn't see anything. Hold on. A 
payment already said. Look at Jack Love already on the phone. Uh, it doesn't notify me or what? What's this shenanigans? I don't see anything. I don't see anything in the first box. Hold on. Thanks for finally getting cash app with the dollar make you holler right there. Appreciate it, dude. All right. And I got it, I'm telling you. Just for you, dude. All right. Uh, I'll cover you I up. I don't see any enders. Let's do two smile. <clears throat> excuse me. Do two. Wait. Do two smileys and two stars. Two smileys and two stars. All right, am I covered? All right, I'm you are covered. Mm -hmm. Chilling on Chady. It's Friday night. I'm gonna relax. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna do my best to have a lazy weekend. No enders. I want the other box, says DJ. Okay, okay. <laughs> I see how it is, DJ. Let me just crack it open so you're happy. Right. Hold on. I'm trying to find one more hey. coin that I can ride on here. Let's see. Hold on. I got a 49 from Jackalope. So Jackalope's in there for a 50. <laughs> Jack Lowe. He was testing the water with that one dollar. He was making sure it went through first. All right, so we got four bonus rolls in this box, guys. I don't know what he's got up his sleeve. Hey, and then Ozzy said, it is time. I'm getting in the VIP lounge. That is a hundo hundo from Ozzy Cologne. So, Ozzy, get your belongings. Don't forget. Let's All see. right. Okay, yeah, Ozzy, head to the VIP lounge, buddy. We'll get you, we'll get you set up in there, get you comfortable. Ozzy with a hundo, hundo. That's going to be twenty rolls, a chance at a hundo, hundo pull two, or two super delicious, and a guess at the Blob Cat mystery box. You love to see it. All right, so I got Jackalope with two spots, right? That is correct. And, and Ozzy, Ozzy with, with a hundo, one, two, three, four, which is going to fill up. The All card. right, filled up, guys. That's going to be a Benjamin Franklin. Next round will be a uh, a half ounce round. 1959. I guess we're clubbing in here by the music. Again? We were clubbing last week. All right, so. Jackalope. You got two spots, and then Ozzy's got the last four spots on the card. There you go. Hey, I think Cujo said, not so fast, sir. You're in my seat. Cujo with the hundo hundo is going to get in Ooh. the VIP lounge as well. I need a new card then. I gotcha. Give me a new card. All right, is so Ozzy and Kuju in the mix. So much, sometimes the reason I look like that, guys, is once in a while there'll be a scratch. Yeah. Uh, I just want to make sure there's no scratches, and there's not. There's no scratches on this one. All right, so we got a card filled right there. Kuju, let's get you in the VIP lounge as well. Kuju. Let's go Kujo Music and Ozzy alone. All right, Kujo has got the first four spots. I put a little arrow on there. It says Kujo with an arrow. All right, let's get All Kujo right. in there with Ozzy, guys. Let's go. Boom. All right, let's get into this, guys. We need to get more silver tonight. Give my rolls to the chat. Says oh, Ozzy Cologne hooking up the crew. Plugs for days. No spaghetti sandwiches for me. That's, that's too many carbs. That's carbs in the bread, carbs in the spaghetti. Sugar in the sauce, probably, depending on how your mom makes it. But you put sugar in your spaghetti sauce? Some people do. A lot of people do put sugar in their spaghetti sauce. All right, so let's get it going real quick. Uh, wait, who's rolls for chat? Ozzy? Ozzy for chat. <laughs> Rick, no, I'm a refrigerator magnet kind of girl. I got two of them. All right, so we will be have two fridges or two magnets? I don't know. Um, we will be having uh, getting into the second box. DJ, 1 through 50, buddy. Let's get Ooh, going. We're getting into the second box, guys. I'm going right. to change the tunes here, I think. I'm going to change the vibe a little. Oh. All right. He's changing the tunes. Nah, guys. we'll roll with it. We'll see what happens. I put teeth in my spaghetti sauce. Okay. <laughs> Nullify some of the acids. That's a smart trick there, Zilla. Who won the scratch off card? Well, we got a full one here. We haven't we haven't scratched it yet, right? Jackalope says my rolls for Santa Snacks as well. Jackalope! Oh man, you guys. Merry Christmas to you guys because we have a lot of Santa Snacks tonight. Nice, Matthew. I love Rampart Reservoir. It's beautiful. Right, we, go, we used to go up there quite a bit to fish. Two sides oh, for Paul's idiocracy. Cheese bucket fun. Cheese bucket fun. Brought to you by Carl's Jr. Holy cheese bucket. All right. So I guess that's happening. Let's go scratch the first card and see. That's such who's a walking movie. away with um a 
of Benjamin Franklin half dollar. Chad's on. Oh, wait. I got to scratch it first. Hold on. Scratch it first. What up, Tupac? What's up, Tupac? Find some silver, please. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. All right. Let's do it. Here we go. Chad, five. Um, the Random, eight. Uh, DJ, four. Offender, one. Jackalope, three. Jackalope, two. Ozzy, six, zero, seven, and nine. All right. Those are your numbers. So here, the next one I want to scratch backwards. I want to scratch the globe and then go down one by one. All right. All right. Here we go. What you do? Benjamin Franklin. Number five. five. Chad Silver, five. Oh, five. it's the right first there. one. Chad, Chad Silver. Silver. Congrats, congrats. Chad Silver. All right. Let me get Chad. A There's number. a Benjamin right there for you, sir. Thank you. Chad all right, let's go. Did, did DJ say 1 through 50? I bet he did. He might have. All right. Maybe not. DJ. Wicked, wicked. All right, 1 through 50 for DJ. If not, we'll get a Fender. And if not, we'll get Jackalope. We'll make it work. Angel Burma says check PayPal, please. Check PayPal. Check it. Check, check, check it. There you go. Chad Silva. Congratulations, Chad. Everybody saying congratulations. Very congrats, nice. Congrats, congrats. They're good, they're good losers. You know. They're not good losers. They're or good. you know what I mean. Uh, what is it? What's it? What's the term? Um, Angel, I don't have anything yet. Angel. Nope, nothing yet on paper. Ooh, and DJ. It, does that dude really get on the naughty list and then he doesn't pick a number? Where is he? He was here. I sat, he's over there eating Cheetos. He doesn't want to get Cheeto crumbs on his <laughs> keyboard. Rick Morrison says, mean. That's not, you know what I mean, man. He said, man. Oh, man. Okay. Good losers. Right. That's not the way to term it. You what's, say, that's what's, your good, good sportsmanship. Good sportsmanship. You know what I mean. Hey, everybody in chat, you're all losers <laughs> except for, except for Chad. I'm a good loser. That's terrible. You see, you see you guys say Team Paul. He's calling every one of you guys a loser. <laughs> I wouldn't put up with it. Oh my gosh, come on. Just kidding, obviously. All right, DJ's over there playing yeah, games. He puts up with it every day. How do you get on the naughty list? Once I'm sold out and you guys keep donating, that's the naughty list. Because you're naughty. You guys can't follow directions. <laughs> Except for Paul. All right, I'm going to, uh, Jackalope, I'm going to have you pick one through 50, unless um, Offender Road's in here. Just remember, I got to start with DJ with the 25, and I got to start with Offender with the 25. Angel, we will try again here in just a moment. There you go. Let's check and see. He's going to check it Oh, wait, I did get something. We got it. Or something. What did you get? I think I got a 60-60. Yes, and five for postage. Thank you for that, Angel Burba. Angel Burba, thank you so much. Wait, I get to put Angel on there. Two uh, times. Two, two times. Two times. Angel Burba. Thank you, Angel. Angel. Angel B. Oh, DJ. He knows how to rile me up. Jackalope, one through 50. Let's get it going. Angel is on there two times. Thank you. Perry Martin. Get Perry Martin on that list because he's got 25. All right. Perry Martin is on the list as well. P-E-R-R. Jackalope says 47. Why? I, I, can, I don't need to count that one out. That's an easy one. Boy, why am I spelling Perry Martin all the way out? I could have put Perry M. Stop being lazy with the pen. All right. Perry is on there. All right. DJ. Uh, Jackalope picked 47. That's how we're going to roll. Oh, there's a Fender. What's up, a Fender? A Fender. All right, regular rolls for DJ. All right, let's do it. Oh, did you look? Oh, you looked. So, yeah, hopefully these boxes are as good as the last ones. Last time, what did we get last night? Like 3 40 percenters? We got, and we got a little bit of silver last night. No. PA Herpin. Who ended up with the, uh, who ended up with the silver, the 1970 proof? I don't remember. Who was that? Because it, it, it survived a long time. Yeah. I don't remember who. I think it was Chad Silver. Was it? I think so. I had a thought. I think it would be entertaining to watch you two play pool at the back of the room. Maybe. I, I used to be pretty good. You know, we were pretty dead even on pool and bowling. We were yeah. usually right there, too. Yeah, we're both horrible. I'm great. <laughs> P.A. Herpin. I love the name. You want to go herp? You want to go herp? I think Chad got it. I think so too, uh, Cujo. I used to go herping all the time. I used to go lurking. No, I went herping. I, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure even when I wasn't herping, I was herping. 
Oh, That's oh, a green screen, says Zilla, and it's not a green screen. Look. Yep. There you go. <laughs> not a green screen. All right, so let's get a wheel spin going up for a DJ who isn't here all of a sudden. Took it off. You, I'm going to give him a second and change the What's music. your favorite herb, PA? All right. I'm back, says DJ. Oh, Mom convenient, called. dude. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, if Mama called, that's okay. We'll let that go. <laughs> uh, nothing in your rolls, no bonuses. We're about to do a um, wheel spin for you. I caught a garter snake and a bull snake in my backyard this week, says Matthew P. Man, you got to move. You got snakes all up in your backyard. No way, dude. That, that's that's the best thing to have in your backyard. They eat all the bugs. Sure. Keep the rats away. I guess that's true. Bull snakes are great. I love bull snakes. I, and I love garter snakes. I'm not a fan of snakes and stuff. I like snakes. I think they're kind of cool. I saw them. Oh, Literally. Anyway. Cool Here boys. we go. Let's go. First one's going to be an Ike, Ike dollar for DJ. I want to be like Ike. I think all it's right. a bicentennial. It is a bicentennial. All right. My son loves snakes. You know what? It's not that I don't like them. No, I don't like them. I don't like them. You just don't like them, huh? Yeah, and that's me that's mean for me to say though, because I've never I've never like talked to a snake. I don't know what they're about. Never you're not liking a snake. Never room? hung out with a, a snake before. Are they friendly? <laughs> some of them can be. I saw a video on the internet of some girl, she wanted a snake her whole life. They made her do a scavenger hunt, and at the end of the scavenger hunt was a snake in a cage or in a Aquarium, no, a terrarium? A terrarium, and she lost her mind. I was so happy. Oh, because she loved. Okay, she always wanted one. How do you always want a snake? Bull snakes have an at bull snakes have an attitude at first, but once they're calmed down, once they bite you and suck your blood out, they're no, very friendly. They don't. Once they're calmed down, you can hold them and they're just like chill. All right, offender. They're chill, but. At first, they're gonna strike at you, and they're gonna they're gonna shake their tail. You guys ever hold a, have you guys ever held a wolverine before? No, they're fine. You with just gotta let them calm down a little bit. Just let them bite you a couple Jeez. times. Jeez, smiley face right there. I got regular rolls. What did you do? Two smiley faces, two stars. Yeah. Okay. So smiley face, we're gonna do burp time. They eat bugs and stuff too. <laughs> they eat your babies. No. Never met a snake I couldn't tee up on the golf course. Jeez. No. My daughter qualified for the world championship in archery. No way, dude. And That's is heading awesome. to Myrtle Beach to compete? DJ, let's go, dude. Congrats, man. You should be proud. Tell her the crew's got her back. Aim straight. She could be like a Marvel comic. Oh, no, it's. I heard that, too. It sounded weird. Oh, actually. Mm. No. I don't hear anything. I heard it, too. Though. I heard it the first time. It probably just hit on the radio. Yeah, Honey Badger. Get one of those. Yeah, honey badger. So, I heard. Is it wolver? Is it wolverines? Or honey, honey badgers or wolverines? Like, it's one or the other. I think lions won't even like mess with them. Oh, it's honey badger. It's they will kill a snake just for the venom to take a nap. True story. They, 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 the venom won't even kill them. It just puts yeah. them into a little nap. They're just like, I'm At one point, I had eight snakes, twelve frogs, fifty-three lizards, three parrots in my room. Bro, were you on the ark? Did you? <laughs> Man, that's crazy. He's living at the zoo. <laughs> Are you at the Shy Mountain Zoo? Right. That's insane, dude. How did you have them all in your? How many lizards? Fifty-three mm. lizards. My mom let me keep two snakes once, and that was it. Y'all are crazy. I had a salamander once. My cat ate it. One one time we had like a hundred baby ringneck snakes. Why? Because we wanted to catch them. We we were out collecting limestone out of the fields. Cool. Uh, but what? To, why? To decorate with, and we there were just all these baby hatchlings, and we caught them all. She scored a two eighty five out of three hundred in her last competition. We got Robin Hoodette in the chat. Wow. That's awesome, dude. The other things I really like catching are the fresh hatchling uh, turtles. The little uh, Why? painted turtles because they're really cool. They're cute. I had to cancel a golf game while a while ago because there were gators on the course. 
Bro, get me out of there, dude. Don't be messing with the gators. Another video I saw is this old man who thought he was the man at a golf course and was going to jump on this alligator, and the alligator had different plans. Yeah, bit him in the arm. I saw that. Oh, you're going to school for zoology and biology. Okay, now it makes that a makes little bit more sense. sense. Became Mine. a motocross mechanic instead, bro? How'd you go from snakes and planes to to bikes and <laughs> to snakes on a plane? Yeah, that's awesome, though, man. Um when we were going to truck driving school, remember all the snakes that would get up into the trucks? Yeah. What's that, Michael? Sort of, like red racers and all sorts Tupac's of had two turtles. He's had them for 35 years. Wow. My sister has had a turtle for a long time, too. Nate Barber, what's up? Nate, what's up, brother? Nate. Brother. Would you sell? I did. <laughs> hey, Nate, how you doing, man? Hope the family's doing well. Happy Friday, dude. Let's keep it going. Our fender is going to get a wheel spin as well. I had three kids beat that, says Plugs for Days. Wow, yeah. How long have you had them? <laughs> How long have you had them? They sleep outside. Merc Dime! So that's two Merc Dimes. Go into a Fender Road. All right, Fender with two Mercs. Oh, man. A couple Mercy Mercs. Mercy Mercs. All right. And that's, uh, I'm so, you said that was a Fender Road? Yes. Temporarily, I like that. Yes. Temporarily. Yes. I'm riding with you, Nate. I'm riding with you, brother. All right, so we got Jackalope with the fitty and giving his rolls to the crew. <laughs> two by two, four, six. I like Nate. He says, no, rather than sell, I lost massive amounts. I hemorrhaged massive amounts. Temporarily, though. Temporarily. She's the uh, state champ there. going to be an Olympic scout there. Hope she does good. DJ, let's go, dude. Nate says, I sold and never told him when. What? Paul sold and never told me when. I sold. I didn't say nothing. Nate's got he's psychic, dude. He's got he's got eyes. And... You don't know. I might have. Nate, dude, we gotta talk, dude. Wait, we, wait, wait. There's a traitor amongst us. <laughs> Abe, Defender Road. Ape, no hurt. Ape. Defender Road. Call, call me. She turned 16. How'd she get into archery? That's cool, dude. Defender Road. Defender. That's you should be proud, DJ. That's amazing, dude. Oh, I can't show these. These are for Santa Snacks. Okay, don't here we go. Say so. something nice. Nominate somebody. Say something funny. I don't care what you do. Just do something. If I call your name, the roll's for you. All right. A Fender Road, right? A Fender Road. All right, making sure. Hope it's <laughs> DJ. If it's televised, <laughs> let me know, dude. <laughs> Paul is fun. That's awesome. Awesome. All right. TWM from DJ. Regular roll. Uh, Juan Ortiz from TWM. Regular roll. Call me Elmer. Glue? Bud. What's up, Andrew Forbes? You know what Bud is? Butter Rockers, it's a hamburger spot. You haven't heard about FUD? All right, let's do one for Andrew from Plugs for Days. Andrew, regular roll. It's like beer. Uh, I can't remember what it all stands for. I'll call you Elmer FUD from now on. So <laughs> no. Call me Smart Money. All right, let's do one for... Did you at least take profit, Paul? Yes. Gray Wolf from Jack Wolf. Gray Wolf, you're out there, man. We love you. We miss you. And I, and I plan on getting back in. I'm. Ne I never I'm, left. My 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 feet are in the water still. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna cause a rocket to the moon. Well, I've been strapped in for like three days. Can it happen already? <laughs> I've been strapped. In. All right, let's go one for Candy from the crew. Candy regular roll. I do. Nate knows, man. I'm all about. It's all about my feelings in the stock market. All right. Did, grab one for Nora from DJ. Nora from DJ. Nora regular roll. What's wrong with coming? Rabbit season. Duck season. All right. Season. Candy, love you. Thinking about you. If you're out there, let's. Where's oh, Angie? Yeah. Hey, there's Angie. Let's do one for Angie. Regular roll. Has she not been in? No. Today. Yeah. Alright, so let's keep it going. We got three to go, and then we got 10 more, 20 rolls from Ozzy for the crew as well. We're about a third of the way through this box. Uh, let's do one for Tupac from quite a few of you guys. Tupac, here we go. Regular roll for Tupac, and I'm going to do one for Nagy. Nagy, regular roll. What did Nate say? Um, did you get everybody on that card, the new card? I feel like Nate's trash talking to me. Uh, I believe so. The last one would have been Perry. Perry Martin, I got Perry uh, on there. Making sure. Nate's trash talking to me. I know it. You told him, didn't you? I, I, I honestly did not. 
I swear I did not. Uh, Roseanne, how you doing? He could see it in your face, Paul. Let's do it for Roseanne. Regular roll. Oh, if you look in if you look in my eyes, you see the reflection of all that money. All that money, money. I I, I had actually planned on getting back in. He's smart. He's he's smarter than I mean, on paper he's smarter than me because he's taking profits. But I'm riding with Nate, brother. I'm not a traitor. I'm on your team. <laughs> All right, Silver, let's just pull for uh, Jackalope. Oh, my God. Paul can no longer sell with anything unless Saks I post. Yes. <laughs> Auntie with the turkey. How are y'all doing? Hey, Auntie. <laughs> What's up, Angie? All right, let's go. Jackalope oh, booking up the crew. Lucky number six. Actually, I might not be able to do another trade. I'd be a, And if I can't, if I'm not allowed to trade uh, because of the day trading rule. Okay, so. PDT rule. Um, we got with uh, I bought a, a few of these at that coin shop up in Denver. Um, so these are the Project Apollo uh, oh, Man's cool. Greatest Adventure. I love the these back awesome. of these or front of these, depending on how you want to say it. So each back what is up, is a different um, it is a different uh, design, and this one looks like it's going to be uh, lunar exploration. Lunar Look at Paul, he's metal detected on the moon. I'm metal detected. I'm looking for that gold. I I've heard that like other planets are like and comets and, and stuff are made up of like tons of gold. And just to make sure he gets home safe, there's a 1965 40%. Paul goes quiet, so he's up to something. Kid in the cookie jar. Yep. I've either got a cookie or I sold. And my, this is for stock. Jackalope. I was going insane today. Now nah, he, he we'll talk. He, he, I still play. He, he I just played it safe to make sure he walked away. There's nothing wrong with that. I played a I played a risky move today. Uh, we'll I was talk later. I was down and then I bought a bunch and it went up and I was like, okay, I'm out. <laughs> all right, so Ozzy with the hundred, I'll grab ten, you grab ten. But don't look at them because they're all for Santa snacks. I'm kind of glad I got out too because if it had dropped that much when I I bought like three hundred shares. Oh my gosh, that would have been. Scary. Nate, I'm telling you, man, I'm on the boat, brother. I'm on it. Grab yeah. ten. He's on the boat. Two, four, six, eight, ten. All right, here we go. Santa snacks. Don't look at him. For do oh, we'll switch off. You ready? You grab the first one. Go. Wait, scoot over. Whoops. All right. Uh, all right. He says one. good job, Paul. First one. Regular roll. Who's it for? You call it. No. Oh, well, you didn't. Uh, I'm doing TWM. All right. I got Roseanne from Jackalope. I thought you were going to call it for me. Or something. Nope. I'm going to make you actually do work today. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to talk to Nate. I'm trying to talk to my financial advisor. He is not a financial advisor. It says on the bottom of the screen. Right. All right, let's do one for Angel from DJ. Angel, regular roll. I am not a financial advisor. But I play one on TV. All right, here we go, here we go. I, I kind of, I feel like... Monday, we're going to see a nice run-up at some point. All right, let's get one for... Come on, come on. I'm going to do one for Dennis. And I got Perry from Tupac. Perry, here we go. Dennis, regular roll. Dennis. All right, we need some silver, please. Let's get the silver started. I'm going to do one for Sam from Matthew P. Sam, regular roll, buddy. Sam Wilson, that is. Mr. Wilson! <laughs> All right, nothing there, Dennis. Did you do one? Is that, is that is that flower in... Is that a real thing in Dennis the Menace where he wants that, that thing to bloom for like six seconds a day or whatever? I don't know. I'm sure there are ones. Have you done one for Nate yet? Um, No, I did one for Nora. All right, I'm going to do one for Nate. And I got Baba Bogey from Naga, Nagy. Regular, regular roll. See, Nate, this makes it all better. Right here. This makes it all better. All right. All right, one for Nate. Oh, did that one? Go ahead, one. That'd be pretty awesome. No, it's not. Nate. Nothing there. Let's keep it going. I'm going to go one for TWM from Bubba Bogey. TWM with a star right there. It's a weird looking star, but a star nonetheless. I changed a K to a star. And that's a Fody Audi Audi. Nothing there, Nate. TWM, right. 1966. Plugs for days, regular roll. 
All right. Silver Bridge. Once for days. Moan. People are saying Silver Wrench. Is that a screen name in here? Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's Chuck Norris in the chat, too. Uh-oh. Oh, there it is. Silver Wrench. I see it. All right, do one for Silver Wrench next. Hold on. Let me check this. All right. I had to double check it. And I got one for Andrew from Plugs. Uh, Silver Wrench. Regular roll. Oh, Silver that wrench. grandpa heater over there is... Can you turn it down a little? From, like, the sun to, like, a star? Thank you. Good God. My, my heater went supernova. All right, Silver Wrench. All right, we got a few more to do, and I'm going to do one for Zilla. Zilla from Dennis Jameson. Zilla, Zilla, regular roll. Oh, All right, so far not out of this box. All right, uh, how about one for Cujo? And I got one for Perry from Roseanne. Perry, regular roll. Regular roll for me, too. Hey, what's up? What's up? I do have a, I do have two hundo hundos in there today. Um, if if uh, Ozzy or Cujo wants one. Uh, this one's going to go to end of stream from Angel Verba. So anything in this roll goes into the giveaway. All right, nothing there. Come on. We need something. I'm doing one for Jackalope. Right there. Jackalope. I got one for Matthew P. from Silver Watch. Regular roll. All right, come on. All right, not over there. What you got over there? Two rolls? Let's do one for Bubba Bogey from Silver Wrench. Hey, Bubba Bogey, Silver Wrench got you a star right there. Nice. All right, nothing. I got one more, and that's going to Andrew Forrest. Dude, imagine opening a roll and being like, all right, sound check. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I would love that. All right, last all right, roll. Bubba Bogey, you got one of the beautiful 67s, my friend. Three that I can look at. It's not the FG. All right, so far this box is skunking us. Oh, no. We need a good box. I mean, not every box can be a great box like yesterday. That's a pretty awesome box. All right. Ah, uh, here it goes for Bubba Bogey. Bubba Bogey. It's got the star. All right, thank you so much, Ozzy Cologne. Ozzy, you want a hundo hundo or two silver licious pulls? The choice is yours. I'm gonna pull oh, Cujo gets to start the new box as well. We went through that box quick, did we? Kinda. Usually we're yapping and yeah, that's why. I got another box right there. I know. Okay. I'm aware. Aware? You're aware? Wolf. All right. So let, I'm gonna get rid of this box. Where did what is um? Get rid of it. What's Ozzy saying? What uh? How does those are all one? gonna be for um Cujo? You can oh, pull them out. Okay, They're all for Cujo. Hundo Hundo. Okay, you get one. A Hundo Hundo one or Hundo Hundo two for Ozzy. Excuse me, guys. I'm gonna get rid of. Do this. we still have really nice Hundo Hundos tonight? I'm not gonna tell them. They could be a dirty sock. We can only hope. All right, regular rolls. Oh, I gotta grab. Here, push that box up and I'll move okay. that box there. Hey, there's a smiley. Right. Okay. All right, let's get rid of this box here. Take that box. We'll get it out of the way. Put this one here. Oh. There we go. All right, next box. There we go. Uh, we had one smiley face. How many is in here? Ten. So he's gonna get ten, ten more. Ten more after. One smiley face. We're going to do a Mercs for smiley. Ozzy, uh, he says, do I get to pick number for the box? Yep, you do. You get to pick uh, one or two for the hundo hundo, and then one through 50, he says two for the hundo. Two for the hundo. Well, we got a lot of dots on these. Somebody took a marker to a lot of these. All right, so one through 50 for the Blobcat Mystery Box. 
it's a 1990s so there's no rhyme or reason it's just somebody putting dots on there sometimes you'll see p people will put dots on certain dates because they check, check them for varieties give me that bobcat mystery box bobcat mystery box all right and one second there you go thank you hmm. Put it in the giveaway. Put what in the giveaway? He's laughing. He's he's cheesing. Who is? Please give my 40% to Dennis Jameson. It says TWM. Ooh. The TWM. Oh, TWM. So he can want that for who, TWM? Dennis Jameson. Dennis Jameson. Put it in the GAW. Says Ozzy. Yeah, but I want to know what. Oh, I don't know. Put it in there, though. Do you have a, a preference of stripes or solids at the pool table? That's interesting. What's up, Jose? Um, I prefer solids, honestly. Yeah. yeah, I do. I don't think I really care. But it doesn't mean I won't. Oh, the pick for the box. Nice. Oh. Wait, what is... Oh, that's going in the giveaway? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. All right, so I'm going to take an envelope and I'm going to write... <clears throat> That'll be cool. Somebody gets to pick... Give you a hint. It's between one and fifty. <laughs> All right. So Ozzy's pick for yeah, end of stream giveaways going in there as well as the silver dot or Merc die. Let's go ahead and see what he gets for his Hundo Hundo. I'm curious because yesterday we had some crazy Hundo Hundo number two. Hundo Hundos. Oh my gosh, you did. So you guys remember there were what four ships and the iceberg? Well, I would like to introduce you to the iceberg that took down the Titanic. This thing it's is pretty epic. sweet. It's pretty epic. This thing is crazy. All right, so it is from the Perth Mint. You get your little certificate of authenticity that's inside this one, I believe. Yep. Inside this one right here, uh, this is the iceberg, as it says here. Iceberg, dead ahead. And is this one? This one is numbered and it is by the Royal Canadian Mint, the president and CEO. So, you got the Pretty Woman box, of course. I want you guys to check this. This is so, so cool. So, here's the front. You got the Ultra Cam. Whoa, mode. that is cool. Like crazy. Actually, that's pretty crazy. That's what I'm saying. That's like extremely deep camera. All right, here we go. Canada, $20 iceberg. Check out the reflection and reflector. On this guy. Look at this. I love this. Oh, look at the color. Oh, it's not even doing it justice either. Hold on, let me get the scope angle. Oh, you had. Oh, you had it. You had it for a second. The color on this is just amazing. It's really cool. Look at that one ounce, beautiful, premium, premium. One ounce premium. The iceberg that took down Leonardo DiCaprio. Right there. And what was what was her name? Rose. Yeah, Rose. You couldn't hold on for just a little bit longer? Oh, she could have scooted I'll over. never let go, Jack. No, bye. She could have scooted. She could have She could have shared that door. She's like, bye, Felicia. She could have shared that door. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Scoot over. Get, Can we take turns? Like, you go on in the water for five minutes. I'll go in the water for five minutes. All right. Man. So, Jack Dawson. What a gentleman, though, right? All right, Ozzy. Thank you for everything you do, buddy. Appreciate it. Then Kathy Bates. She's just sitting there. She's like, you know, we could go back and pick some people up, but nah. Can you imagine how terrifying that would be? Though? That would be horrible. Like that would be so. And, and not only terrifying, but how painful. You know, some of the the most gangster people in history was were that band that just kept jamming as it went down. I feel like Dude, you are you are on the top shelf as far as made men go. I'm pretty sure that they were like trying to get on a boat and then they couldn't. Yeah, so I bet the real story is a little different. Yeah, so like the real story is like, oh, you know what? That, you I would have pushed her off this whole day. Dang, Jose. <laughs> Jose. Bay Area don't play. <laughs> oh, my. Scoot over, Rose. Dude. Right, Rose. Come on, let me get Come a on, cheat Rose. get something. <laughs> Roseanne would have scooted, she says. Roseanne would have done it the right thing. You can imagine how chaos... In the movie, they're like, okay, women and children, I bet dudes were pushing kids in the water yeah, to sure. get onto that boat. That, hopefully not. Just a thought, what kind of... 
Wait, what? Of wait, what of you had a jumbo Q stick and shot a bowling ball towards the fins? That would be cool. Bowling, bowling. That's a great idea, dude. I just thought of it. It's mine. Yeah, he thought of it. It's his. All right, let's open up the second box. All right, let's do it. Come on. It's actually not a bad idea, dude. I can see that as some like super trendy bar. Pulling. <laughs> they should have bumped and grinded to stay warm. Get out of here. You could have cuddled though. Yeah, you could have snuggled. Share some butt. And I don't know. That way, you're you're in so much trouble. Why? Like that water is below. Freezing. Yeah, I know. I, I it's yeah. like freezing. I couldn't imagine it in real life. Have you That's have crazy. you ever have you ever put a like a leg or a foot in freezing temperature water before? Yes. It hurts. Oh man, I can't I can't even imagine. All right, I'm gonna cover him up real quick. Yep, yeah, I see your number already, Cujo. I won't tell him. Spooning, good word. I don't see any silver. And, and back in that day, I know they had, like, radio contact, but you know how long it would take somebody to or whatever? I think it was Morse code. Nowadays, you can get a hop on a chopper, and they're there in, like, ten minutes. But can you imagine? Like, oh, my gosh. All right, my I'm covered? surprised anybody lived through that. What am I doing? You're two, two smileys, two stars. Two smileys, two stars. Two smileys, one star. Okay, I don't care. You pay me. No, you tell two me. Two, 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 two. Two and two. I'll All mix right. it up. We'll do some silver nickels or something. It really does hurt. Christina, though. I'm looking for that last message. I don't. I wonder. Sometimes you guys tell me to go back and look. And I don't know if it gets deleted or something. Because I don't see it. Now my chat's froze. Oh, boy. All right. We're good. And no enders. Found it buried. What are you guys talking about? Found it buried. Uh, I don't see it, Christina. If you want to re copy paste it, maybe. Because I don't see it. All right, and he said 33 for the number. 10, 20, 25. I sent you email my address for myself. Yeah, uh, everything went out, Christina. Uh, you should be getting. Have you guys got your packages this week yet? For this week? Oh, you need to pull that down so they can see. Okay. Get that mercury down out of the way. You see the polar plunge in Boulder, bro? I've never done the polar plunge. Silver likes to see. He's done it quite a. Oh, what the heck? Oh, look, there's another one. What is that? Look at the side of these rolls. It's got a Star of David on it. What the heck? This one does too. Look. All right. I, I mean, know. I don't think it's a Star of David. I think it's just. A it kind of looks like a Star of David, though. That's what is this? Anybody ever seen this on rolls before? This one's got it too. It's probably just. This one's got it too. Oh, I wonder if somebody is. Maybe it's a shoe mark. Maybe somebody stuck on know. the paper. I don't know. I've never seen that before. Okay, 33, and he gets uh, 10 more. Three, five for you. Five for me. I got a smiley. And I got regular rolls. I'm opening this weird roll. I want to see what that is. It's not grease from Burger King, Jose. Could be. Silver nickel. San Francisco, 1943. weird i mean it it, it, lo it looks like a star I yeah I, i'm sure it's just from the pack i bet somebody stepped on the roll this paper oh uh, maybe it is that a, a bottom of a shoe it could be you put it under the scope i already did oh okay it's interesting the, the guys at the mint oh, yeah because it's not on that side at all I don't know. Either found it buried, exactly. Oh, found it buried. That's it. Okay, you're in the chat. I was trying to figure out what they were talking about. Some new faces in the chat today. Hope you guys enjoy yourselves. So I was talking to a bank teller, and they told me you can go to the Mint, and they'll deliver boxes to your door. I don't know about that. Well, there's a few things that I'm not sure I want to... First of all, oh, nobody thing. wants to see a Brinks truck back up into their driveway. Like, that's just, unless you live in, like, you better live in a nice, super neighbor. gated community. I mean, you know, you just, you just, that's un you don't want unwanted it. attention. Yeah. Um, but if they could, imagine if they could pick up, too. That'd be 
great. Oh my gosh, you know how much easier our lives would be? Jeez. It'd be a lot easier. Are all 1943 nickels silver? And what's the percentage, says Angel Burger? Yes. What's the percentage? The 35%. Uh, the only exception would would be what? What uh, about a coin What? A thrift nickel, right? And what percentage is that? None. Because they're. They were counterfeit, right, right, Barry? That's what I said, too. Wasn't it the thrift nickels that were counterfeit? Uh, in Canada. I don't know. I'm not sure if it was 43 or 42. We were talking to the guy at the coin shop today, and I guess people are counterfeiting dollar bills that are just, like, top of the line. They pass every test. Yeah, that's what I've been hearing Guys, keep care. be careful. I was hearing about that, too. All right. So, Cujo, you want a hundo hundo or two silver delicious pulls, and you get a guess one through 50. Wait, did... What did Ozzy guess? Oh no, he gave it to the chat. That's right. Somebody's gonna get a guess at the Bobcat Mystery Box as well. Go to the coin shop tomorrow. I'm excited. Let's go. Find something. Find me something good. I need something. I need something. Oh, Jackalope, it's not, they're not doing one dollars, they're doing, all dollar. they're doing like hundos. All right, so hundo, hundo, no, they're doing all of denominations. Oh, really? All of them. Hundo, hundo, number one, it's the only one I have left. This one is going to be a ship as well, and we're going to get you a pick at the mystery box number 19. Has that been picked? Number 19, uh, where's my, there it is. No idea. All right. Uh, 19 has been picked. All right, 19's been picked. While you're waiting, I'll show you your hundo hundo <coughs> number one. Let's get it going. Just for the famous naval battles. Certificate of Authenticity. Which one is this? Wow, that says Trophologer. Trophologer. What, what's that say? Trophologer. 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 Uh, it has pixels. Oh, that's this one right here. I'll, I'll zoom it in so you guys can see. Trafalgar. Tra. Trafalgar. Tra Gar. All right, let's open it open. You got the swan, the swan, swan right there. That's the swan's ice cream bird. Jeez, these things are cool, man. Eighteen oh five. Ooh, don't you, better not show that to uh, Dark Green Marine. All right, so again, uh, oh, jeez. And focus. Trafalgar. All Trafalgar. right, there you Trafalgar. go. Cook Island right there, 2010. Those things are just, look at the black, the contrast on that. It's crazy. Flip it. Flip it. Another ship. Ship of Hawaii. That, one's, that thing's sick. Make it look like it's like actually sailing on the ocean there. Kind of like, go up and down. It is. You mean like a storm? <laughs> Jack Sparrow! Hey, found a buried. Have a good one, buddy. All um, right, so very, very cool. Uh, super premium right there going out for... Oh, I almost wrote on the wrong thing. Cujo. All right, did Cujo pick another number and I missed it? I'm sure he did. Uh, 34. Roseanne was saying something about she didn't get her slap. You get your slab, sex apply. I didn't receive a slab, barber half, but I did receive it. Might be in the, in the next back. It might be in the next. It might package. be in the next ship. Oh, um, and this is Kujo's. Well. I shipped everything out. Look at thirty-four. See if that's good. Uh, thirty-four has been picked. Thirty-four has been picked, Kujo. Put, put that underneath the scope so they can see what all's been picked. I'm gonna start. Parlay, says DJ. And after this, here's the rundown. Angel Burba with a 60, Perry Martin with a 25, and Andy with a 20. Parquet. <laughs> you know what? After drinking the carbonated water for so long, 25, I don't like the taste of diet soda anymore. 25 good? Well then stop drinking them. I don't I have like, any I don't have any water down. I like the taste of those. Alright, 25 coming off the card. 025. One, two, three. 
Nada, nada. I know me. I need to. I'm not. I don't know. Ever since I started drinking like carbonated water, like I don't like the taste of diet soda anymore. Oh, I have water in the sink. That's true. Water water in the think sink. about that. Water in the toilet. All right, Cujo. Thanks, buddy, for all you do. I appreciate it, man. Um, you are on the. I believe he's on the next card when it gets full. Uh, yes. He's got one, two, three, four spots. All right. All right, Angel Burba with the 60. I just drink that tap water. I'll tap. grab a six. You grab six. All right. I got a star right there. Let's go. What's better, Cheetos or Doritos? Doritos. I got no enders. Regular rolls. Cheetos or Doritos, Paul? Ooh, I love Cheetos. And I, I don't like mind Cheetos. Cheetos. He likes the the the, soft, the, the puffed the ones. Puff. I don't like the puffed ones. I like the like jalapeno cheddar ones. I love the puffs. I you know what's funny is I don't like them until I eat them and then I like them. But I like. I always press them against the roof of my mouth and like get all moisture I'll, in it, or I'll suck on them and like crush them. Yeah. With the. But I eat four or five and I get sick. I don't know why. I don't like. Coke but Cheetos. I can believe me. I can. Flaming hot Cheetos. Let's go. Spicy nachos, uh, Doritos. I can go through a bag of. What's those. your guys' favorite favorite Dorito flavor? Favorite Dorito flavor. Spicy nacho. Spicy sure. nachos. That's man. a tough one to beat. I love spicy nachos. I like how the, uh, the Doritos chili. I like spice. Funyuns too, dude. That's a, that, that used to be a treat for sure with some Funyuns. I was never real big into Funyuns, but now I like them. Are the original says Silver Watch. Okay, that beats original Coin Sniper. Doritos. Bro, Coin Sniper Chris, sweet and spicy chili, the purple bag, dude. Good stuff. Remember when they used to come in the, the taco flavor? Yeah, Doritos. Oh, I hated the taco flavor one. See the ranch, Dan Wade. I used to love them, but they—I swear they got super, super cheap with their ranch flavoring. They did. But dude, I'll tell you what—you get some Mountain Dew and some of those uh, sweet and spicy chili, the purple bag. I don't know what the combo is, but it worked perfect. Yeah, the purple bag, the spicy. Speaking of combos, remember those pizza combos? Pizza combos. Not the pretzels, the crackers. One nacho and branch at the same time. DJ's next level. I like those uh, vegetable straws. No, the veggie chips uh, oh, yeah. from Ritz. I know plugs. I know from Ritz. Oh my gosh, I love those things. It's like gar- it's like garden salsa, or something. garden salsa or something like that. I love those flaming hot Doritos that came in the clear and purple bags way back in the day. Flaming hot anything, I'm on board. You know which ones I don't like though that my nephew loves are the um. Takis, I think they're called. Takis. They, they taste like stale chips. They always, they always taste stale. Roseanne, I'm taking one day at a time, trying back to my routine. What happened, Mia? You okay? I like to put spicy Doritos on my Subway sandwich. Don't judge me. I do too. A nice turkey sandwich with some Doritos on it. Mm. Yeah, right, Jose? Don't they taste like just stale chips? Like, I don't know. Dude, we cannot get skunked tonight. The Curly Mesquite Fritos. Oh, bro. The Honey Barbecue ones? Ask him. That's my that's my snack at 7-Eleven. Because you get like three times more chips than you do. Oh, I'm sorry, Mia. Yeah, see, me and, uh, me and Corey Cypher Chris are on the same. We're going to be bumping heads at the chip aisle. <laughs> You're like, sir, those are my chips right there. Both hey, grab I got a fitty fitty. Fitty fitty. Hey, Cujo says, I want seconds. Cujo with a fitty. That might sell us out. All right, Cujo uh, gets two more spots on the card. Let me get him on there. Uh, oh, we need one more person on the card to do the, to do the pull or the scratch. One, if one more person, do we have any extra rolls? I think we do. Yeah, we got a couple. If one more person wants to get on. Ooh, I got Mia's phone number. You got a number? Mia, I'm I about to call number. Mia. We're about to talk. We're going to talk about pandas and slot machines. Slot machines. 
Um, yeah, I'm trying to see. Speaking of pandas, where's my panda? I, my gold, I have it hidden. Where's my gold panda? Oh, uh, no, that's me. No, that's a different. Uh, okay, so you, why don't you do a silver? Let's just pull for Angel Burma. I can do that. Pretzels, that's bubble bogey. I like pretzels. I like those honey. The honey twist pretzels. I don't know. I don't know who makes them, but they're really good. Mia, I, I'll, the only thing I'm seeing is is um like link reminders. Number two, I, I don't like Yahoo Mail. I'm telling you, I don't like Yahoo Mail. They make things way more difficult than they need to. Number two, Mia, if you can send that again, I'm sorry. I hate to be that guy. I want to know what's going on, though. Peanut butter stuffed pretzels rule. They are good. If Dennis, they're fresh. If they're old, I don't want any part of them. Dennis Jameson says, Oh, 1892 Columbia hey. Exposition right here. This is going to be a first year, and it's got Tony. Tony, Tony, Tony. Oh, you can see some purples and blues in there. All I see is four lights. I know, I hate that. Thing. What year is that? 1892. 1892. Okay, first year. First year. All right, congrats, congrats. My favorite coin on the planet, and it's a first year to go to Angel Burba. Angel Burba. And, of course, her 40% as well. You want one of those? Well, now you got one. Now you got one. My favorite coin ever. Uh, la, 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 la. That's right. You're welcome, Angel. Thank you for being part of the crew. And don't forget to check PayPal for Dennis. Uh, I got 50 from Cujo. And I got, I should have Cujo on there. I do. Okay, wait, this was for, who was it? Roseanne? No, that's no, for Angel, Angel Burma. Burma. Sorry. Better be. Burma. Hey, Coin Sniper Chris is taking a shot with a 50. There it is. All right, Coin Sniper Chris. Coin Sniper Chris is on yep. here first. All right, Coin Sniper. I didn't see anything from Dennis unless Dennis was just relaying a message. Oh, he might Sniper have. Chris. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put up our sold out sign because it is about <coughs> that time. Anything else? Well, let me see. I'll do some math. All right, guys, let's do a card. This one's going to be for a half ounce silver. Half out sunshine. And I need another card to put coins not. He did a 50, right? Yep. So he gets another. Let's make sure it's not scratched. It's not scratched. All right. Let's get it going. What's up, Demo? So Coin Sniper, Chris, you will be on the next one, which will probably be, end up being Tuesday. All uh, right. Here we go. Cujo. You got all these numbers. You got 0, 5, 8, 1. Angels on 9 and 7. Perry's on six, Cujo's on three and four, and Coin Sniper Chris is on two. Oh, I was gonna do it backwards this time, darn it. Oh, you messed up. All right, here we go. One, two, three, half ounce of silver. Who will it be? Number six. Perry Martin. Right there, Perry. Perry Martin, it is PM. Perry Martin, congrats, congrats. This goes to Perry Martin. Perry Martin. Who won the first card? It was. Uh, I don't. Five. Chad Silver. Chad Silver, that's right. All right, so Coin Sniper Chris is on the board. I got here's the rundown Perry with the 25, and Angie with the 20, Cujo with a 50, and Coin Sniper Chris with the 50 as well. Let's get to it. Perry with the 25. All right, there you go. Yeah, we did go to the Rockets game the other day. Great game. If you watched the game, you might have saw us. All right. Perry. Is this Perry? Perry with the 25. All right. He wins the card, and he gets to go right on cue. Nice Rockies game. Great seats. Great weather. Oh, great seats. I found, I, I found a little soda hack. He did find this. He found a really great soda hack. Oh, my gosh. Like, literally... 
95% off. Oh, you set up, Dennis did say PayPal, he said. Like 95% discount on so sodas. At Coors Field. I'm not telling you. I might. Use code SNACKS for 95% off. Dennis, I don't, hold on, let me triple, triple check. You really could give him the code SNACKS now. Only good at Coors Field. Uh, Dennis, I don't have anything. Maybe you sent a cash app, possibly. No. Jose went to the Giants game yesterday. Heck yeah, dude. I want to go to a Giants game. I need to go and start going to more ball games, man. We had so much fun. It was a good time. Dennis, I don't have one, dude. Wait, is it on PayPal or is it on? I checked them both. Oh, okay. I was like, it might be on cash app. I don't have it. Check on your end, I guess. Oh, he, oh, he said AMC stock. No. I'll go back and check. Thank you, Dennis. I, I can accommodate you. I think I have some over there. You think you're good to go. Hey, Gunner. How you doing, buddy? Uh, we don't talk about politics in this chat. It's just some, some place where we can go and not have to worry about judging people. Cash App is only available in the U.S. and the U.K. Okay, good to know. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm not a Giants fan. I had so much fun. Giants Stadium, is, I bet, is a really cool stadium. I want to get one of those kayaks and wait for a home run ball. Next time we go, I'm taking a mitt because a glove because We're, okay. I don't want to get hit by a. All right, Perry, it's gonna wheel spin, buddy. I saw a couple of balls go flying. They 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 have some heat on them. Oh. Ooh, oh, oh okay. dime and a dime. Dime and a dime. Upgrade dime for Perry to a Merc. And another silver dime in the free giveaway. We should just always buy Mercs and just say upgrade, upgrade every time. It's good. That'd be more fun. Oh, who are getting cheap on Perry? Give me a flip. Perry, you believe that, dude? I dare you to lick that envelope. Look it. I already licked it. Uh, all right. Okay. Got Perry taken care of. Let's do Angie with a 20. 102 degrees, says DJ. It was warm here. Wow. Oh, Angie with a star right there. Star. Angie with a foudy, outy, outy. Angie, I'm not going to get cheap on you. I'm going to put you in a sleeve right here. Put her in a sleeve. I know where you Sam. It rained like crazy here today. I'm glad I didn't need to water the lawn. There you go. Saving money with Mother Nature. That That's always nice. It, it, and if you have a pool and it rains really hard, it fills your pool up. How nice is that? Speaking of. We're fine. Okay. That's why we have people. True. Cali time for Cali Jose. All right, buddy. Oh. All right, after this, it's Cujo with a fitty and Coin Cypher Chris with a fitty as well. Uh, I'm going to disappear for a second once you get started on Cujo's. Finally. I need to uh, grab a refill because this 7 Up is not, I'm not feeling it, man. Did you already drink out of it? Yes. Check PayPal again. Okay. Okay, I see it. There it is. Dennis with the fitty fitty. We are absolutely sold out to the teeth. I kind of want it, but I don't. No, you're not. I don't want your. I don't. It's it'll probably. Awesome. It'll probably taste like Doritos or something. I, mean, I, I wish. I wish it would have tasted. You probably like got Doritos. Dorito lips. All right, Dennis. All right. I hope I have enough to accommodate. I'm sure I do, actually. Here, do this last roll. Well, I'll do it. Grab ten rolls for Cujo. Mm -hmm. Dude, we need. To, have we got one silver today? No. Oh my goodness. Ten rolls. There. All right, you go ahead and get down on those. I'll, I'll be back in uh, about th two, three minutes. Regular like rolls. Hold on. Let's check these out. Hey, it's Smiley. Upside down Smiley, but it's a Smiley. Let's go Silver Nickel. All right. Wait, where are you going? To get a refill. <clears throat> Would you like a soda, Paul? Yes and no. I want a Popsicle. Oh, too bad. Give me a Popsicle. Ah, bro, DJ's always pushing buttons, dude. I was about to say something in a smart Alec remark, but I don't have to. He did it for me. 
<laughs> DJ with the five on the naughty list. Ah! <laughs> of course he is. Of course he is. DJ on the naughty list. I better be careful. He's going to send his daughter out to come put an arrow in me if I'm not right? careful. For okay. real. She could be the new... Uh, what's, the, what's the guy's name on uh, Marvel Avengers? Um, huh? No, the, the one that shoots the bow and arrow. Oh, gosh. Oh, how many sodas do you drink a day? Um, today I've only had, today I've had one? No, I think I've had two. Either two or one today, I can't remember. But I probably have like three, I would say. It's not, not too crazy. Hawkeye, thank you. Oh my gosh, it's driving me insane. I was like, I could not remember. I kept wanting to say Black Arrow, but it's Hawkeye. Oh, Peter Bowles, what's up? Peter in the house. Have you ever tried Superman superhero ice cream? You should try it if you ever get the chance. I've seen it. I've seen the Batman. I've seen the Wonder Woman. I've seen the Superman. Uh, I have not tried it. Uh, because right now I'm trying to stay away from sugar uh, if possible. And uh, it's really hard, but I'm, I'm doing pretty good for the most part. We bought a... We buy all the keto candy bars, so it's like two sugars and very little carb. So trying to be trying to be good. Found a flashing ring, metal detecting the other day. A flash oh a flash ring. A flash ring? What? That's pretty cool. I bet that was probably from like the 70s, if I had to guess. I've been lucky at the coin star machines lately. Alexander, we have not been lately uh the last couple times we've checked nothing your health paul is important exactly uh because of the chemistry between the hawkeye and black widow paul maybe that's what maybe that's why maybe that's it maybe that's why i was thinking black arrow i don't know i got my my marvel universe flipped around or something all right uh it's gold what are you Paul for sticking with it? Yeah, it's so hard to do. I found my first buffalo nickel the other day. Metal detecting. That's pretty awesome. What year was it? What year was it? Hawkeye, isn't he from MASH? <laughs> he was he was in MASH. That's pretty funny. That is pretty funny. I never really got I was never big into MASH. My cousins used to watch it all the time. Uh, and I never really got the humor in it because I was younger when we were watching 1935. Uh, but now, now I can appreciate MASH for sure. But as a little kid, I was not trying to watch MASH. But they liked Hogan's Heroes, MASH, like all those, all those shows. Uh, and they also used to watch Dallas. And I was like, why are you watching Dallas? It's the most boring most boring kids show ever. Uh, all right. I'm up to five buffalo nickels this year. That's pretty awesome. So you know the extra thick nickel where it gets all worn and it's supposedly worth like 2k? I have one of those. What? I, I guess I've not heard this. Uh, interesting. Uh, I encourage you to continue with a healthy lifestyle and to only eat ice cream when you are in a healthier state to do so. And uh, like I said, we I do get ice cream once in a while, but it's the keto ice cream. Okay, Google next song. Uh, but we get the keto ice cream, which is like super low carb. Or I'll usually try to get like the low sugar or no sugar added ice cream, if possible. I'm trying. I'm trying. It's hard, but I'm trying. Um, get the likes, please. Thank you, Mia. There's a guy here. Uh, I want a snack. Can be cleaned it with salt? What? Uh, Alex, who did the voice of Popeye and Felix the Cat? 
all did you watch Green Acres? Of course I watched Green Acres. That was pretty funny stuff. Um, I liked Zsa Zsa Gabor. She was... I don't know. It was, it was very dry humor. It was alright. I have three coffee cans full of pre-1982 copper pennies. Hold on to them because uh, they're worth three cents a piece right now. You made a video a long time ago that it meant error. It's like a 2005 or something. You made a video on it a long time ago. It's a mint error and the date is like 2005. Um, are you talking about the buffalo, the wounded buffalo? Nickel? Uh, see so the package coming. Wonder what it's in that one. Mine didn't send me when I went to buy the silver from them. Blah, blah, blah. Hee haw. Yeah, of course I watched Hee haw. My mom and dad used to watch that. I got into coins because, because of Paul and Snacks. Um, so I, know, I wouldn't have to look up who did those voices. Yeah, I don't know who did Felix the Cat or Popeye. It wasn't Mel Blanc. <laughs> be interesting to know or put a face to the voice and it wasn't uh, Robin Williams unfortunately he did a great Popeye in the movie how many buffalo nickels do you have Paul um, uh, a ton a ton of buffalo nickels no snacks tonight Wolf King uh, we got rid of him we gave him his uh, pink slip so um, fast. Unfortunately, he came back. Your uh, security walked you out, sir. Well, I took security out and walked back in. He's back, unfortunately. Jeez, you, you were thirsty. He grabbed a whole gallon of water. <laughs> he grabbed Stay a thirsty, my friends. Stay thirsty, my friends. No, I have a ton of buffalo nickels. I have a, a small collection. Okay. Well, that's a fancy glass. Pinky's up, my friends. That's a fancy little glass you have there. It looks like a, like a. Uh, uh, are these opening? Yeah, those are from opening. It kind of looks like a uh, what do you call it? A jellyfish. What? It kind of looks like a jellyfish. Uh, with with the the legs with the, the little things coming. Anybody out. see a jellyfish here? You see, like if you had a mushroom on top of that, that would look like a jellyfish. I don't know. All right, the imagination of Paul. So like a Warshack test. I see what I want to see. And you want to see a octopus. I didn't say I wanted Jack to. Mercer did the voice of Felix the Cat and Popeye. Jack Mercer? No idea what you guys are talking about. We were talking about voice over uh, for certain characters. On TV. Who does the Arby's? We have the meat. That's Arnold... Tom Arnold. No, he was the glove. Oh, uh, I, th I thought you said Arby's. I did. He was the glove. Who says we have the meats? Or oh, is, that's got to be uh, Darth Vader. Who is yep, it? it's Darth Vader. It's Darth Vader. Oh my gosh, did Mia send me a... Did I leave my phone? Oh, it's over there. Okay. Hashtag where's Rhino. He's, he's, he's working at a... Free Rhino! And you were doing 10 rolls for Cujo, correct? I did. 10 rolls. Nothing. All right, Cujo. Here we go. Bing Rains, exactly. It's not. Oh, it is Bing Rains? Yeah. What? I didn't know it was Bing Rains. Number 10. Makes sense, though. Now, you think he got free Arby's for life? Yeah. Absolutely. All right. They're going to offer you 100 grand to do that commercial or free Arby's for life. <laughs> Are you going to eat 100 grand worth of Arby's? I probably would. You would, too. If any place gave Paul all you can eat for free, it's the only thing you would eat for the rest of his life. Guaranteed. Oh, Canadian. Okay, we got one of those beautiful proofs. Who said, where's the beef? I don't remember her name. But she was awesome. It's she Jean Rains. She was, no, where's the beef? The old Oh, lady. where? I think said, we have the beef. She was like an beautiful 80s icon. Tonight's theme is shits, pretty much. That's going for wow, the beef. What'd you guys have for dinner? Speaking of it, uh, I had chicken wings. Oh, yeah, I had chicken wings. Chicken wings. Nice, healthy chicken wings. Arby's is like four out of All right, ten. So I'm going to need. Videos, in my opinion, so sports videos. You know what? People love or hate Arby's. I love Arby's. I have never had a bad experience at Arby's. I love the big 
nine, so I need one more, and then ten, so I need 11 more. So you can open all these for Coin Sniper, Chris. All right. I'll grab my phone and 11 rolls. Got regular rolls. We have not had one silver tonight. This is ridiculous. Clara something, you're right. That, that rings a bell. Clara Bell, get it? No, I do remember her name being Clara. I just don't remember. Five dollars for Paul's Arby's fun. Don't forget the curly fries. You cannot go to Arby's and oh. not get curly fries. Oh, if you go to Arby's, you have to use the two can dine for nine ninety nine coupon. It's the best coupon they offer. You get two roast beef sandwiches, two curly fries, two drinks. And mozzarella sticks for nine. And let's for rephrase this to can dine. It does change it to Paul can dine. Paul can dine for nine ninety nine. And sometimes it's different in different states. Like sometimes it's eleven ninety nine, nine ninety nine. It just depends on where you're at. What'd you do with all my Okay. So it's gonna be the first uh, nine. Okay. Pull them back out. Yeah, go ahead. Six. Yep, perfect. Eight, four, six, nine. Nine. One more. All right. Root beer floats. You have root beer floats for dinner? Making sure. All right. What's Roseanne saying? Chipotle, it's still in the bowl, hot and waiting for the end of the string. I work at Arby's, and I can tell you that almost everything at Arby's has the menu. It's delicious. You can't go wrong. There you go. And, Breaking Arby's. And I feel like Arby's is one of those places that doesn't make it until you order it. Like they cut the roast beef right then. Yeah. It doesn't. It's not sitting there dried out and gross. Is it? Oh, that Roseanne. Yeah, that's... Wait, who who works for Arby's? Um, it was Bricky Guy. Bricky Guy? Yep. Uh, Bricky Guy, can you... Uh, Call yeah, me. give me some coupons. Can I get something? Hook me up with them Arby's coupons. The good ones. I'm back on a diet. I can't do it. He says that they don't make anything in teleported. Very cool. You know, I worked at Papa John's for a very, very short time, and they were the same way. I'll tell you what, their ingredients are clean, and, and like, I was impressed. We used to go to the Arby's in, in Long Beach. Remember that one? That was a kind yeah, of that was an anti coupon Arby's. <laughs> yeah, they were kind of the crazy. They were the Arby's slash green burrito. Yeah, yeah, I think it was not a because I remember they had the peppers there. Yeah. No way. No, that was that was Carl's Jr. slash green burrito. But no, that Arby's was different. It was not. It was like definitely. It was not a franchise. Yeah, it was not a franchise. Yeah. All right. I don't think they made anything fresh. <laughs> Quick snap for Chris. We're doing our best. You had food poisoning twice from Arby's? Oh, my God. I've never once had a bad Arby's experience. Never got the fries. They were never on sale. I hear you, Roseanne. Uh, speaking of fries from Arby's, they just introduced, like, normal fries now. Oh, I think I might have a proof, maybe. Maybe. Oh, gosh, no, it's not. Look at that. It's a 1990, but it's in, like, amazing shape. But it's not approved. There's the meal. Oh, now I want Arby's. That sounds so good. Should we go get Arby's? I need. I can't. I'm on the diet, dude. Mm, I want a Big Mac with extra cheese. I wonder if. I bet you that cheese has carbs in it somehow. Cheese probably got. Paul get Popeyes. That sounds so good. Give me barbecue sandwiches any day, says Food Zero. Barbecues. You know what I really was wanting recently is uh, I wanted Dairy Queen. Yeah, if the line was at 75 cars deep. They were literally. There was 25 cars in line. There was probably 25 cars. No lie. No lie. I got you, Mia. The, they were backed up onto the highway. Yeah, it was crazy. It was all nice. right. So, point sniper Chris, snipe a silver licious pole that looks like it's number six. Man, we are dying tonight for silver. All right, number six. Here we go. It is going to be a slab of dooski, nineteen forty-five, beautiful Merc dime for PCGS. Those things are super duper nice. I, I don't like the RB sauce either. 
Oh, I do. Yeah. I like get the Red Ranch. I'm telling. I've been telling you guys a hundred times. Ricky, tell them about the Red Ranch. <laughs> tell us about the Red Ranch, Ricky. I like their horsey sauce. If you guys want to know one of my here, this made from real horses goes to Coin Sniper Chris. That's a beautiful yeah. Uh, that's so nice. Smirk. You got food poisoning twice. One at KFC. One at Del Taco. And this I've been on a Merc roll with you guys. Did you get a Merc last time? Did he? It's I hope you like the Mercs, Chris. Point Sniper Chris? Yeah. The Red Ranch is awesome. See, Bricky, nobody believes me about the Red Ranch. I've been at McDonald's for three years, Burger King for five years. Five years. I've had two burgers at Red Robin in the last year. Red Robin with a slice of pineapple on the burger. Then you got the Bonsai Burger. You even know what last it's called? Last two times, Chris? Hey, Chris, I hope you... Oh, he loves them. Good. I'm glad you like them. Plus, he's got good taste in chips. I know. He's got good taste and, in corn. And these book really high. I mean, like, for a pull, this is a good pull. All right. Dennis Jameson with the 50 to wrap up the night, guys. Red Ranch is bomb. See, Cujo knows. Grab five, you grab five. Check them, turn them, burn them. I got regular rolls for Dennis Jameson. I want, no, I want Red Robin. We had Red Robin twice in the last three days. That's the Angel Burger. That's what I got last time. I got the Red Robin with the lettuce wrap. It's it's not as satisfying at all. Rolls. Yeah, the Bonsai Burger. See, I know my menus. Don't mess with me. I want some I want some clucks and fries. <laughs> McDonald's Hot and Spicy McSandwich, Fries, Burger King Whopper, Jack in the Box Tacos, Addiction. <laughs> You're not lying. Hey, um, get the hot, and sp- the hot and Spicy Sandwich with Mac Sauce and Grilled Onions. It's free. And it changes the dollar sandwich to like a legit sandwich, just saying. Yeah, unless they give you the regular onions. Yeah, yeah, you gotta take a risk there. He, he got Tupac it. hasn't had McDonald's in 30 years. Good job, Tupac. Wow. I haven't had it in 30 minutes. The no. Burning Love Burger with the fried jalapenos. I see you, Chris. You know what I really, 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 really want? Gross, Rosanna. The Cajun, fri- uh, the Cajun fries from. What's the place of MVPs? MVPs. MVPs Cajun fries. So good. It's like hardens your arteries just and looking you at you. You get 50 pounds of them. Yeah, you get a lot for like seven bucks. They're expensive, but they're so worth it. It's kind of like the five guys. No, actually, food. Dennis, I got those rolls for my hot sauce box. So there are stars and smileys. They are those. marked. Yeah, all the hot pot. All the hot Hodge. See, Dennis Jameson, and this is what I'm talking about. Snacks got your back, dude. And there's silver in there. I, I got your back, dude. We didn't get skunk. Yeah, oh, my God. Not only did we not get skunk, Dennis Jameson's getting 90% silver. And 90%. See, Dennis is like, you don't got my back, Dennis. I got your back. That's bro. like a million dollars in silver. There you go, 1964, 90%. Let's change the silver count to 234. That's a million dollars. If you had taken that money Boy, from, from that silver and invested in Dogecoin, you wouldn't have any money. Back when, back when it was 0.00001, it really would be a million dollars in silver. All right. We didn't get skunked. Let's go. <laughs> Funny how Paul froze. Angel Burr says, I froze. And you got the silver tonight. I'll take it. We've been getting 64s pretty... From this bank, yeah. Yeah, from this bank quite a bit in this area. Oh, I dropped some something. Oh, well. A uh, name? I got you, Dennis. Was weird. Hey, the shoot for him says rigged. Rigged. Well, it's got some weird funky funkiness to it. Uh, once again, I'll take all your funky silver. I'll take funky silver. That's not bad. Just clean it a little bit. <laughs> it's You could if you wanted to. It's not going to. All I'm, right, boys and girls. And after I do a poll for Dennis, it is time for the free giveaway. In the free giveaway, we have a, let's see. We have a Merc Dime, a Silver Dime, and a Wobcat Mystery Box guess from Ozzy. But check it to make sure it's not a double die first. All right, let's go, Grandpa. Or Dennis Jameson. Actually, that's a Grandpa. Grandpa to Grandpa. Here we go. Number nine, number nine. You can't see. What it. are we doing this weekend? I don't know, man. Probably. I know what he wants to do. What do I want to do? I know what you want to do. 
go up the hill? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, only one of us made money this week. Hey, I hope we're not <laughs> saying that next week. I know. I hope next week you make a ton of money. All right, number nine is going to be a, a beautiful Christopher Columbian Exposition. This is the second year, 1893. Oh, that one's got... Dude, that's got... Uh, 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 luster? Luster. That's got luster. What? It is the second year, so he's going to go home with a quarter ounce SLQ as well. I can see that coin. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's you a, know, there's varieties in these as well. Andrew 1964 for show. That's actually got luster. It's AU. What? Yeah, I'm hooking them up, man. That's an AU. You. All right, Dennis. I got you, buddy. Here, put all this in for Dennis. Dude, that's a nice coin, dude. It's very nice. There you go. What's up the hill? A uh, gambling town called Cripple Creek that robbed us blind the last time. <laughs> as long as we don't stop. Yeah. All right, let's do this free giveaway, guys. We got a Blobcat Mystery Guest for but Rosie. We, we, we got a Merc Dime. We got a Silver Dime. And I'm going to throw in something else on top of it. I don't know what. Let's... I got something. Oh, you do? Yeah, I remember what, I remember what I was saying. Uh... Remember that one silver coin that we had? Yeah, you want to put it in the free giveaway? Let's put it in the free giveaway. I'm down for that. This is from our uh, crazy coin star score that he's been getting. Where is that thing? You gotta I, I thought you took it out. You got to find it. Yeah, you took it out, remember? What you did showed I do? it to the chat. It's probably over here. I did take it out. See, Paul's promising you stuff. You put, put that in there. No, I'm just I don't um, see it over here. Um, where is it? Jeez. Oh, wait. You know what? I bet it's in here. Oh, there it is. Found it. Right there. Big silver. Big out. silver going in the pirate silver. It's not a lot of silver, but it's still a big silver coin. All right. Free giveaway. 20 seconds to speak up. Are we going to two, three, four till we have a winner, winner, chicken dinner? All right, I'm gonna get you get guys in the chat in the giveaway. Let me copy this link. You should here. put that on eBay and see what how much you get. It's cool, it. right? That was a good. That was a great Coinstar score. Not Coinstar, but Coin Machine. Coin score. Machine. And we got five dollar chip for when we go to the Vegas. The, Ve the Mexican Vegas. silver. Says, Hold yeah. that open like that. Hold that open. Dump all this in. I miss my, remember my jar that I used to have with all the coin store finds in it? 10%, but a big coin says Cujo, that's correct. That's correct. All right, let's see who we get the coin karma today. That's Where's my giveaway. That's easily a dime's worth of silver, I bet. All right, here we go. Round one, one, two, and three. Let's go. Oh, just kidding. I got to set my settings still. <laughs> It's got 41 comments. 41 comments. All right, here we go. One, two, and three. Alexander, Alexander Santana. Santana. I see Alexander in the chat. Speak up real quick, and that is yours, my friend. And you get to pick on the Bobcat Mystery Box. Also, thank you for supporting my small business. Keep, keep, keep the packing. Keep the packing. Keep the packing. What? Keep the packing. A lot of people reuse the pack. Ah, the pack see, there's pack. Alexander. All right, congrats, Alexander. congrats. All right, Alexander, congrats. Uh, did you already get him on there? Oh, and he gets a guess. Yes, he does. All right, so he gets to guess. Here. Yeah, Dennis, did you get Dennis on the twenty-five mid-dollar list, sir? Or coin cipher, Chris? Yeah, on the last one. You got to get Dennis on this one with two spots. You did a fifty-fifty. Did I forget? We, we both forgot. Oh. I'm sorry, Dennis. No, he's not. He did it on purpose. Dennis. After all the nice things Dennis does, you just cheese, dude. It's not true. Frito Bandito, pick number one through 50, dude. He could win the Blobcat Mystery Box as well. Dennis, I got you on there. You no, are. No, he didn't. Let me see. All right, he did. Put it under there. Put it under the scope if you don't believe me. I believe you. There it is. Dennis J. Dennis J. Points up a Chris. What's your email? Coincarma at yahoo.com. All right. And this is all for Alexander. All right. Let's see what we got. One, one through 50. Dennis is like, good, 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 good. 
I don't trust him either. You gotta watch me. Alright, let's get him a flip. Alexander wants a flip. What is it? Let me know, Alexander. 1 through 50, buddy. Thanks for the love. You're welcome, dude. Did you put the numbers under there so they can Not see them? Yeah, you have them over there. Uh, oh, you have them, right? By your hand. All right. If you need a uh, little key. I'm shaking. That's a reach. It's all like, there it is, guys. Number one. Number one is, one is taken. taken. Here, put it under the scope so he can see it. Go slow. So he can really check it out. He probably saw 11. He's Vanna Whiting it for us. Uh, 50 is a good number as well. All right. And oh, he said four. Four. All right. Number four. Four is a good number. Let's see. Let me take number four off the list. Zero, zero, four. All right. You ready? One, two, three. There it is, it did it! He got it. Alexander! It was four. Let's I was gonna go. I was gonna bunk him. I was like, nope, it's not Let's it. Let's go, Alexander! Congratulations! Alexander, you just got something that we have never had in here before. Let's go! What what's it gonna be? What's in the box? Oh, we need a we need a uh a, a what's in the box? GIF. Are we lagging for you guys? <clears throat> I don't think so. Okay, now we're caught up. Okay, we're good. I think we were lagging there for a second. What's in the box? All right, Alexander, congratulations. What's it gonna be? Put a rubber band in there. Nice, Go Chris. Ahead. Dun, dun. I don't even know what I'm saying. What is it? Oh, Alexander, I hope you like slabbed barber quarters. Slabbed. 1905 barber. Frito Bandino's got a 1905 quarter G4. What's in the box? Slabbed NGC. Barber quarter. Barber quarter. Wow, that means I have to get rid of this. We went for a long time on that card. That means Slabadooski. The, that means the next one will go fast. Congrats, congrats, Alexander Santana. All right. And we'll have to reload the Bobcat Mystery Box. We got to remember to do that for next week. Can you imagine if we, we come in here? Dip. I put an Arby's coupon in there one time. Here, uh, give me that rubber band. There you go. Wow, I think it's dirty. Dirty. Congrats, congrats. You're welcome, Alexander. Way to pick them the correct number, man. You got the quite karma, dude. Uh, we, we should probably take that off of there. Just use a different envelope. No, I just don't want to have two names on it. That's why I just use a different envelope. Remember, I remember the RV's coupon, all right? Yeah, I had the RV's coupon in the last mystery box just for fun. All right, there we go. So, Alexander, congrats, congrats. I think that's going to wrap it up for us tonight, guys. Of course, I got DJ on the naughty list, as always. Uh, I want to read through the uh, donators to say thank you. DJ kicked it off with uh, Fender Road, Jackalope, Ozzy Cologne, hooking up the crew, as well as Jackalope, Cujo, scoring silver. We got Angel Burba, Perry Martin, Angie, Cujo, Coin Sniper, Chris sniping some silver, Dennis Jameson, and the DJ on the naughty list. I just thought of something. Who gave that, who gave that guess away? Was that Ozzy? Ozzy. It was Ozzy. Hey, make sure you say thank you to Ozzy Alexander. That's pretty awesome. Thank you, Ozzy. With the Chipotle gift card, yeah, it'll be empty, but I'll put it uh, yeah, in there. With like 34 cents on it. You can see that's just uh, a cup of water. That's a, it's, it's like one piece of chicken. 
I wonder how much it would be to get like two sides of chicken uh, kudos. I don't know. All right, guys, but I think that we're going to get out of here. This is our weekend. You never know. You might catch Paul uh, on Saturday, Sunday, or Monday Maybe. doing a box of quarters or something. Maybe. But until we're going to get out of here, uh, Mod Squad, thank you for all you do. Guys, if you guys are going around, checking out each other's channels, show some love to the community. It's not a huge community, but we need to make sure we're taking care of each other. Um, and me and Mod Squads, I appreciate everything you do. Guys, if you're going through some hard times, I know a few of you are. I got some emails. Um, yeah. Make sure you guys are taking time to take care of yourselves uh, before you can start taking care of other people. So make sure you guys are doing something nice for yourself. Reach out to somebody you haven't talked to in a while. And, um, yeah, and we'll see you on, uh, what, Taco Tuesday? Tuesday. And, of course, stay warm, stay safe, stay positive. And, as always, happy hunting, guys. We'll see you guys next week. Next week. Bye, guys. Have a good one, guys.